You're listening to 30 Pounds Down, where losing weight is simplified with healthy habits. I'm Glenda Hill, a nurse turned holistic nutritionist. Let's go to the show. Hello and welcome, my friend. Today we're talking about how to relax and lose pounds with underrated healthy habits. And this is for you if you're fed up with dieting and exercise and you notice that these are the things that the gurus are telling you is going to work, but is not working for you. The underrated healthy habits are hidden gems of strategies that might seem insignificant, but they have a powerful impact on losing excess weight and finding peace in your life. And you want both of these things, my friend. These practical tips and habits that I'm going to share with you include mindful ways to use cayenne pepper as you eat, as you drink, as you move your body. And so I think that this is going to be a very interesting episode for you. And it's going to help you to see how small shifts in your daily routine is going to pack a powerful punch when it comes to losing those extra pounds and reducing the stress in your life. So let's get started. The first habit I want to talk about to relax and to lose the pounds is to eat good food. Isaiah 55 verse 2 encourages us to eat what is good. Yeah, and I hope that you will read the full scripture so that you can relax around food. Dieting is stressful, and this scripture verse takes the pressure off by reminding us to simply choose good foods. But it's more than just what we eat. It's how we eat. You want to slow down and chew well and reflect on how good food fuels your body. It gives you the energy so that you can serve others and fulfill God's purpose for your life. Now, this is a quirky thought, but have you ever felt the urge to wash down your food? and you're using water or your favorite drink. Well, this is a habit that people have. They wash down every bite of their food, every bite of their meal, and they are unintentionally diluting the digestive power of the stomach. Yeah, the gastric juices. And so that makes digestion less effective. Instead, take small sips of water if you need to and allow your stomach to do its job. Sticking to the idea of eat what is good, I want you to think of cayenne pepper, okay? Because cayenne pepper is a food. It's also a medicine and it's also an herb. (laughs) Psalms 104 verse 14 tells us that herbs are for the service of man. So Herbs are to serve us, right? And cayenne pepper is a perfect example. So I want to walk you through your day and I want to show you how to use cayenne pepper to enhance your relaxation and to lose some pounds, all right? So start your morning with a glass of pure water, right? And then your second glass of water, I want you to put a pinch of cayenne pepper in there right? And this routine is going to promote blood circulation, clears the sinuses, and it kickstarts your metabolism, which aids in weight loss. As we get to the breakfast, cayenne pepper stimulates saliva production and digestion, right? That's important for nutrient absorption. We need that. That's the whole purpose of eating food. (laughs) So, Try adding a small amount to your meals, scrambled eggs or scrambled tofu um, or salads or salad dressings, and notice how it enhances your digestion and how it reduces hunger throughout the day. As you start to do your physical activities for the day, whether you are doing household chores or you're going for a walk, Cayenne pepper can boost your energy. So you want to add a pinch of cayenne pepper to a glass of lemon water without the ice, 
okay? No ice. And you want to drink this before you move your body. And while you're making up your cayenne drink, just give thanks to God for the strength and the ability to stay active. Another underrated healthy habit is focused breathing for relaxation. Did you know that when you are stressed, your breathing tends to be shallow and you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain? It's like trying to see through a foggy window shield or you're trying to watch a 3D movie and you don't have those special 3D glasses on. Everything is kind of blurry and makes you feel dizzy, right? This lack of oxygen can make it harder to focus and make good decisions. I want to give you good news. Just a few deep, intentional breaths can clear that fog and help you to regain clarity, help you to focus, and help you to relax. I had to relearn how to breathe deeply so that I can get oxygen to my brain. It was because I learned how to breathe shallow when I had certain jobs, like when I was in the U.S. military and when I was working as a nurse. I had to sometimes stop breathing because of the certain odors and smells. That habit caused me to have to relearn how to breathe deeply (laughs) after I got out of those situations. If you have developed a habit of breathing shallow or when you're in a stressful situation, you hold your breath, then you need to learn how to breathe deeply again. And this is going to give you oxygen to the brain and help you to relax and restore that function that beautiful function of breathing properly that God has given us so that we can always think clearly. So I want you to try a method that I call the three fours method, right? It's called that because you're going to inhale for four counts and hold your breath for four counts. And then you're going to exhale slowly until you get all the breath out of you. And then you relax for four counts before you repeat the process all over again. This method not only relaxes your mind, but it also gives you peace, especially when you meditate on God's love for you during the exercise. All right, my sister? So start this breathing exercise today. It takes a little practice, I know. But once you get the hang of it, you'll notice the difference in your ability to focus and to relax so that the stresses in your life never overwhelms you. Another healthy habit that people really underrate is journaling. But I'm not talking about the typical gratitude journal, right? I'm talking about journaling with the five senses, So you have smell, sight, hearing, taste, touch, right? Have you ever thought about how your nose can remember 50,000 different smells or scents? Yeah, that's like having a personal memory bank of smells from your favorite home-cooked meals to the fresh scent of rain. You know that smell when... You know it's about to rain. It has a certain smell in the air. I love that smell. Well, it's just one of the many ways that our body gives evidence. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so I want you to each day write down three things your body has helped you to do, whether it's caring for a loved one, working on a project, or simply taking a walk in the sunshine. So when you do this journaling project, you are shifting your focus away from focusing on your physical appearance to having more of a purpose and reminding you that your body is a vehicle for doing God's work. Okay, so take a moment each day to journal about how your senses serve you promoting gratitude, and reducing stress. 
All of these underrated habits, they may seem simple, but they are incredibly effective for a healthy body and weight. I hope you will agree with me, my friend. Managing stress and eating what is good, you lose the pounds and you gain peace and relaxation. You have a weapon for preventing stress from overwhelming you. Now, my friend, I want to invite you to allow me to give you an assessment of your habits because I love to support you on your journey. If you're open to it, okay, I want to offer you feedback on your current habits and help you to identify what might not be working. And more importantly, what could work better in its place? I'm here to help you at every step of the way. So contact me and let me know that you want an assessment or you want some feedback on what you're doing, okay? If you like this episode, share it with a friend. Subscribe to my channel and tune in each week for more. Until next time, my friend, peace to you and have a great day.